am back after a week and a half of not uploading. I am finally back with a new video. First off, happy new year, happy 2017. Today I'm gonna to show you how to get a hold of your life in 2017. How you can slay, how to be healthier, happier, and how to just like get your life on track. In 2017, and by all means, I do not have my life on track. I could be way healthier. I could actually use my planner more. So I'm gonna be going over mental health first and then physical health because I feel like your mental health is super important as is your physical health. But here are some tips for how to have a healthy mind and body this 2017. First off, just organize, clean your life. Whether that be your room, reorganizing your room, feng shu, feng shu, how do you say it, feng shui, whatever it is, you know, that actually I feel like on a personal level, like today I took down my Christmas tree, redid some things to my desk and set up like different areas in my room. I have a place for when I'm reading my Bible, a place for when I want to do my yoga, a place for filming and I cleaned out my closet and I just feel like cleaner inside. Like honestly, like when you have a clean room or a clean space then you're gonna feel better. So even if it's not your room and you're not reorganizing your room, then like cleaning out your purse. Maybe you got a new purse for Christmas. Like organizing that purse, making sure you know where it's gonna go or even smaller, like organizing a planner, organizing your Spotify playlist, like whatever it is, organize something and you are going to feel way more productive. So let's say Sunday is your cleaning day. If you organize some, like one small thing or one big thing every Sunday, you are gonna feel way more productive, way more organized throughout 2017. And it's gonna last the whole year instead of doing this one deep clean on January 2nd and the rest of the year your room's just a total mess. Like break it up and it'll last throughout the whole year and hopefully your whole life. My next thing is a little bit bigger and it is to do a digital detox. We are so, so addicted, obsessed with our phones with computers, with our phones, and I noticed this. Um, I was so caught up in filming and trying to keep up with social media, making sure I got all my Christmas posts in, making sure I had a post for New Year's, and it just got like overwhelming for me. So last week, I took five days and I went on a digital detox. I didn't go on YouTube, I didn't watch YouTube, I didn't upload YouTube, I didn't look at comments, didn't look at my subscribers, um, and then I also didn't go on Instagram or Twitter. And before I did this detox, like I knew I was scrolling and going through social media a lot and that's why I wanted to do it. But I didn't realize how often um, I would go to my phone for when I was bored and not just when I wanted to look at people's pictures. So now I try to go on it just like one or two times a day is what I'm gonna try to start doing. So that's what I did and I just spoke chose those few couple apps that I was gonna stay away from. If you wanna go super big, you can start, there's tons of plans on Pinterest. I'll link some below to like where you're not even on your phone by the end of the week. Like, But I wanna maybe try to work myself up to that. So if you wanna try it, start with by just maybe taking away Twitter for a few days or for a week, or then take away Snapchat, like just try it out. So what I did, and whenever I reached for my phone for boredom, I picked up a book. I brought like a couple books with me. I ended up just reading this one book, but that's actually my next tip for mental health is this year, start a book. Okay, you're gonna read one non-school book, whether you're in college or high school, one non-school or work-related book at a time. Not a week, you don't have to go into that, but just take your time with it. This actually reminds me of the scene in Clueless. I'm reading one non-school book a week. So this is the book that I picked up. I have like a video, like a girl boss video where I talk about some of my other favorite books. I like nonfiction, like self-help type of books. That's just, that's just what I like to read in my free time. So this is sort of that. It's called I Am That Girl by Alexis Jones. She's actually best friends with Sophia Bush from One Tree Hill. She wrote the foreword in it. But anyway, it's, it's still sandy because I, I got about halfway through it on the beach. It's about finding your passion, pursuing your passion, how to take time for yourself so you can help others. And the, it's just amazing. So you can go check it out on Amazon, but I just reached for this book whenever I was tempted to go on social media and it's so much better for you, you know, and it's beneficial to your life. So once I finish this book, I'm gonna start another book. So the next thing, if you're not a big reader or you don't really wanna start a new book all the time, then just simply starting a new playlist can really help you get in the mindset. So I love Spotify. I make new playlists all the time. I recently made some new ones for 2017. So if you want to go check out my Spotify, it's Hannah Ashton. And just making like a fun Spotify playlist for different parts of your life, for like your road trips, for your cleaning, for your work, for your studying, like making a bunch of fun playlists and organizing them is a super fun way to just like refresh your mind, refresh what you love and music's amazing. Who doesn't love some music? So my last thing for your mental health is to start a new hobby that you have always wanted to try. So it's not like what you need to try. Like everyone's doing yoga, I should really start yoga. Like don't do it like that, do like, you may wanna start yoga though. But it, whether it's drawing, writing stories, writing articles, um, starting a YouTube, starting a blog, going bike riding, you know, taking soccer lessons. Like, I don't know, like whatever hobby, big or small, you've wanted to start, start it this year, okay? 2017 your year, start it. 
You can do it, even if you're scared. It's gonna benefit you if you want to do it, now's your time. There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to physical health. Um, I have a few things here. Obviously everyone wants to work out and be healthier, but here's some easier ways to slide into, you know, like weekly workouts and eating healthier. Okay, the first one is to get up earlier. It is just like every book I read says to be successful, to be productive, you have to get up earlier. And I know our bodies love sleep. Sleeping in feels so amazing, especially when you get up early for school or work. But really, if you get up just like 20 minutes earlier and do something for yourself um, or do something to help start your day, it's going to be so much better. So maybe it's drinking your coffee at home instead of taking your coffee on the road with you. Waking up that 20 minutes earlier, you can sit and drink your coffee. Don't go on social media, but maybe read your book, listen to your music. Maybe it's picking up your room, doing some stretching, or even if you want, going for a walk or a workout. Like workout is literally the best because working out in the morning allows you to burn calories all day because your metabolism is still going. So if you're up for working out in the morning, it is gonna benefit you so, so, so much. But if you're not up for that, just like doing simple things. And then as 2017 progresses, like every month, maybe you set it back like another five minutes. So by the end of 2017, maybe you're waking up like an hour, an hour and a half earlier than you were in 2016 and you're getting so much more done. So start, start little by little, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 20, just get up earlier and you'll feel way more successful, way more productive. And you'll, you won't be so rushed in the morning. Speaking of mornings, making a routine is so important. You see beauty gurus everywhere doing morning routines and night routines, but really, if you can get to a routine, it is going, it's gonna make your mornings go faster because you know what's coming next and you know how much time you need for each task. And it's gonna make you feel more productive because it's the same thing every day. You know what to expect. It's not rushing around, eating breakfast in your car and doing your makeup at stoplights. Like, it's not gonna be like that. Set a morning routine, write it down. Don't just do it in your head, write it down, put it next to your bed. So for the first few days, you like follow it and then it becomes routine and then it becomes easier and it's gonna help you out a whole bunch. Lastly, my thing for healthy eating is to start little. So one of my resolutions, it is to, I wanted to start drinking more green juices and smoothies because they're so good for you and I feel like I don't eat enough veggies, especially in the winter, like on a regular basis. And so they're easy ways to get veggies in. So I wanted to do a green juice or smoothie every week and I was like, that may be too much at the beginning. So I'm doing three green juices or smoothies a month. That's my goal, I have to get it in, I'm gonna track it. Three green juices or smoothies a month, which is almost every week, a little less. Make your resolutions like specific, don't just be like, I wanna lose 10 pounds. Be like, this is what I'm gonna do to get there and this is why I want it, because I wanna be confident. And if I lose 10 pounds, I'm gonna feel confident. You, that means you wanna be confident other than you just wanna lose 10 pounds. So it's sort of the way you look at it, setting specific goals for yourself. And that is how you can slay and just have an amazing 2017. So I hope you like this video. If you guys want more advice videos like this, where I sort of just talk down and give you some notes and stuff about life, then I totally can do more. Tell me what videos you guys want to see in 2017, because I was in a rut for a bit, but taking this break and making this video has made me more excited to make videos. So hopefully you guys like this and you got something from it. Also, comment your New Year's resolutions down below because I want to read them. So if you wrote out resolutions or goals, then comment them below and I will read all them, I promise. Okay, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Stay happy, love you, peace out.